Good, I'm still waiting. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, I think it's almost summer. Uh, well, walking around without jacket. I think it's a bit cold this morning. But uh, I, <laughs> I was listening to Jim Rohn and he said something very clever that I think you and I can benefit from. I didn't know about some of it, but uh, some of it I do like every day. But the other part I'd really love to share because it was an eye opener. But there's this story that he says, <laughs> he says um, uh, a family, a family of three, like mother, father and a daughter. They always never saw their, like the father always came late, like the father was the only one working and the mother was a home going mom. And um, the daughter always asked the mom, but mom, every day dad just comes, says good morning, it says good night and just kisses me and that's it. I don't play with him, I don't see him, I don't even have anything uh, that I can do with him. He's always busy. How can it be? Because I hear my friends saying, no, their father does this and their father does that. But my dad is always busy. Then the mom goes, hi, Frank. Then my, the mom goes, you know, honey, your father really loves you. He really, really loves you. But he just has to carry some work because he has a lot of work to do. Then the daughter goes, but why don't they put him in a slower class if he can't cope with a busy class? There can be a lot of things going on in this. It could be he was really pressured as and there was a lot of work to do. But there's something called time and there's something called timing. I think you and I can learn from what Jim Rohn says. He says, we have to learn not to work hard, but to work smart. And he gives a lot of suggestions that could, uh, he gives a lot of suggestions that, that can actually improve the way time is used as in the way you can actually end up working smart he says instead of starting the day and then knowing what you did at the end of the day why don't you end your day before you start it i'll explain it why don't you end your day before you even start it what he means is write a plan about how your day is going to be go through it by that way you've already lived your day before you even started and further on he says do the same make a plan for the week before it gets started so you have to finish your week before it gets started <laughs> frank thanks for the love <laughs> he's saying you have to know what you're going to do during the week go through it and then finish the week on paper before you even get started the same with the month finish the month before you get started the same with the year finish your year before it gets started what is it talking about sit down make a plan for the year go through it make a plan for the month go through it make a plan for for the week go through it and i thought oh okay i'm only good at making plans for the day as in i know of course my goals for this year but uh I didn't think about doing it for the week. I didn't think about doing it for the month, which I think is actually outright genius because I think it will help it will help uh, you and me to actually block our work in such a way that we know, okay, we can measure it. This week I was supposed to do this, but I didn't really finish it. So maybe I'll push it to this. Oh, this month I was supposed to do this, but I didn't finish it, so I can push it to the other time. So what I'm saying is, I think his idea is genius finish the month before you even get started with it finish the week before you even get started with it finish the day before you even get started with it and I'm sure that this will save a lot of time because when you know what your goals are you will do what you have to do quickly so that you actually have a lot of relaxation time so this is uh, this was really an eye-opener for me I don't know if it has helped you in one way or another but uh, yeah I think it's very wise thinking that Jim Rohn has and I really want to try it. I hope you can use it and uh, share this one with your friends if you think somebody needs to manage their time well. Work smart, never work hard because hard work will just break your back. 
that's true and uh, yeah on that note I'd like to love you and live you and then I say be fruitful and be great days love you and have a lovely lovely weekend bye bye Mwah.